My name is Rick Grote, Grote Family Productions. Some of you might know me from our Wild West show, the Grote Family Wild West show. We make motion pictures, most of the time westerns. We're doing a project right now called Yesteryear Radio Theater. And this is a format that you and your whole family can sit down and listen to an old story just like they used to in the 1930s. Our story features the story from our award-winning film, The Shooting, that we produced in 1983. It won all those awards in 1984. And right now we're excited about this project because we're producing it now on CD. We're also going to feature it on a webcast that we're going to run, Yesteryear Theater. You're going to see a trailer now, and just sit back and relax. I've included some slides just for your convenience. The radio show will have an option as either looking at the slides or listening to it without any screen at all on a CD. So folks, get ready for Yesteryear Theater Radio Show presents The Shooting Story of the Kane Brothers from the Wild Wild West. Thanks, folks. Oh, by the way, Get on your horses, ride to your computer desks right now, and make a pledge, get behind this project, and be one of our backers. It's going to be a good ride, and there's great rewards, and you can reserve your copy of the CD right now. Howdy folks, and welcome to the Grote Family Productions presentation of Yesteryear Radio Theater. Ride along with us now back into the days of yesteryear. The time, 1887. The place, the Old West. We find our main characters, Gabe and Luke Kane, entwined in a battle that will test everything that they're made of. Gabe Kane falls in love with the daughter of a powerful ranch owner named Bill Keegan. Keegan's son robs a bank, kills Marshall Handon. Gabe must do his duty and arrest the outlaw. So come with us now into those thrilling days and ride along, folks, with the Cane Boys. Our story continues now as young Joe Keegan sits with the rest of his bad fellows, bragging about what they have done. Little do they know that Gabe and Luke Kane has found them, and Gabe is about to enter the room. It's funny where that comes from. Looks like you did it again. He did fine, you boys mind if I sit in? Help yourself. Go ahead. It's your money. What are the stakes? Twenty dollar buy-in. You boys really play for keeps, don't you? That's right. This thing's getting a little bit heavy. Well, Jeff, what are we playing? Stead, what are you doing here? Just passing through, Joe. Same as you boys. It's cold outside, ain't it? <laughs> 
get warmer. Yeah. One dollar. So you gonna talk or you gonna play cards? Sure, Joe. Here's your dollar. And I'll raise you another one. And yeah, some fellas held up the bank. Killed the marshal. You know, mister, you talk too much. Yeah, that's a fact. I've been told that once or twice. Hey, you knew him, didn't you, Joe? Are you gonna shut up and play? Yeah, I'll take two cards, Joe. You got one of them, though, before he died. I heard that arm, Jed. It sure looks bad. All right, that's enough. I don't know what you're doing, Kane, but if you want to live to see sunrise, you get out of here now. <laughs> well, what are you getting so excited about, Joe? Nothing. Nothing. Right. If you like his smile on you, I got me a full house. <laughs> but looks like you both lose. You're under arrest for the murder of Marshal Hampton. Dead, mister. No, don't kill me! Please don't! Don't you! I guess you're going to get now, won't you, Joe? Where are the other two? What other two? I said where? Join us again next time, folks, when we bring you the next presentation from Yesteryear Radio Theater. Follow the exploits of Gabe and Luke Kane as they ride through the Old West. This has been a presentation by Grote Family Productions, a yesteryear radio presentation.